Okay, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another video, another vlog. This is my official marathon vlog, my first marathon ever. Oh, wow. We really, we made it. We made it, guys. It has been a journey, and if you guys have been with me, through this marathon training season, then I feel so grateful to have you here. And I hope you're excited because this weekend is gonna be, it's gonna be a great one. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I'm your gym girly slash runner. And for the last 16 weeks, I've been training for my first marathon. Did start the vlog yesterday, didn't do a proper intro, but my boyfriend and I are here to run the Carlsbad Marathon. We touched down in San Diego first thing yesterday morning. here at Bill's Barbecue. I suggested this as our post-marathon meal, but it came up on Yelp and we were like, we might as well just have it now. And if we really like it, then we'll get it again. But yum! The little charred parts. Hmm? On mine? Is that mine? Yeah. <laughs> Carl's baddies. We made it! Oh my god, we're probably gonna be running up and down this. Yeah, we're gonna be running here. Oh my day. <gasps> oh, what's that? The deck. Kitchen seafood pizza. Oh, there's pizza. a lot of places that we can um, explore. Hey, Kevin, what do you do? Oh my god, we're literally gonna be, we're gonna be running down this. I'm pretty sure, right? Oh my god. Oh, it's gorgeous though. Carl's Baddy. Carl's Baddies are in town for the Carl's Band Marathon 2024. Yeah, that was our day one. Today it is Friday. We still have a couple of days until race day on Sunday, which is nice because we can just sort of do all the things to prep, relax, rest. I'm in the parking lot of our hotel right now and I'm actually gonna head over to get a massage, which I'm really excited for. I did ask my boyfriend if he wanted to do this with me, but him and I both are, we're not big massage people. Like we don't get massages often. We're kind of uh, wimps when it comes to it. So he ended up passing up on it. So I decided to just go while he is upstairs working. Both of us are technically working. Like I was editing and I need to continue editing for the rest of today, but I'm just gonna sneak away, get my 60 minute Swedish massage. <laughs> I'm gonna ask them to focus on my lower body because my legs are honestly not feeling as fresh as I would like them to today. We don't plan on doing much for the next couple of days. Just hanging out, eating, stretching for sure. But in terms of activity, I don't I don't think we'll be doing much. But yeah, welcome to the vlog. We were up last night, just going back and forth between being excited, but nervous and ugh, all the emotions are, they're just coming in and I'm sure they're gonna come in even harder as race day nears. Why do sunsets in SoCal just hit different? What a cutie! Got some sunset outfit pictures too. Thank you, thank you. Can I play? Can I play? <laughs> okay. The king of over ordering. But maybe not. Maybe maybe you'll finish. Fish burrito. I didn't even know they had oatmeal yesterday. Also, it's a good thing we grabbed peanut butter yesterday because there's none out today. None today? 
Good morning, y'all. We are officially one day out from the marathon. In less than 24 hours, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing it. <laughs> Run it in. We're gonna be out there. Oh, that is freaking crazy. Today it's Saturday and we just went downstairs to grab breakfast because our hotel has free breakfast, which is amazing. Tomorrow, unfortunately, the race starts too early, so we're gonna miss the breakfast here, but we do have stuff prepped for tomorrow's breakfast before the race. Today I just had some oatmeal, eggs, bacon, also some coffee, of course. We are gonna go on a quick little shakeout run, probably two miles up and down the beach. Last night on our way to dinner, we actually drove the entire route of the race because that was literally the route that we had to take to get to the restaurant. It was good to see. We now know the lay of the land. There are gonna be quite a few hills very gradual inclines, which also means a lot of areas that we can just fly down. Okay, just getting ready for that. We also have to go to the expo today and pick up our bib. And I mean, I've never been to an expo like this, so I guess we'll find out together what's there. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 40 something degrees out right now. It's, it's about 8, 30, 40 a.m. Pretty cold out. Probably need a little zip up. Cute, cute. Also, I didn't get a chance to show you guys the room, but it's a pretty simple suite. <laughs> Bed with a person hiding. I'm not here. Desk that we've both been working from, switching off. If he works there, I'll work from the bed, vice versa. A couch with our belongings on it. It's a little messy. We're gonna clean up. I did want to keep the food area is pretty organized though. So we have the banana bread that I baked before leaving. I bought a loaf of bread for our peanut butter jelly toast. This is actually from the hotel. So shout out to the Marriott for that. Some other snackies. I had a big sweet tooth. So I got Sour Patch Kids and a Reese's. We got all our shoes here and then <laughs> our fuel station. I brought way more than I needed to, but I figured it would be nice for us to have a selection to choose from. You don't really know what flavors you're craving until the day of. So we've got an assortment. <laughs> All right, let's go. We gotta go. I wanna. No, it's a little shakeout. It'll feel good. And then we also wanna go, or I wanna go and stretch downstairs because they have a little fitness room. The mats. You gotta be so professional. Huh? I just want to make sure we're prepared. I'm prepared. Are you? <laughs> to our first marathon expo. Oh my gosh. Are we excited? Oh yeah, I'm scattered. Excited. <laughs> English, hello. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Pace, oh. Oh, what the heck? Wait, pace cars? There's so much stuff back there. Uh -huh. Hello. hello. Ninety-four point nine, wild ninety-four point nine. You're twenty-six. Wait, what? Not yet. Not yet. Nine three five. Nine thirty-five. You beat me. What the heck? I signed up first. Check. Okay. So nine three five nine four nine. Damn. So it's close. It's damn near twelve hundred. Oh wait, do we want to write it? Nine three five man. Wow, it says our names too. Oh, it's probably like this. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> 949. Okay, I can I can vibe with that number. It's a good number. I like it. That's pretty solid. Why does it say half? What? Stop. <laughs> okay. Expo, 
we got these tickets to visit the Columbia Employee Store. So here we are. Lots of discounted items. I think I'm gonna get this fleece because I'm cold right now and I need something warm to wear. But also, I just like the color. It's really soft. And also for $20, not bad. Oh, these are cool. Little trail shoes or something. Nice fleece, dude. Thanks, dude, you too. <laughs> Make it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we got it just in time. Just our third night being here and finally catching the sunset. Fine. Yesterday we did for like a second, but oh, oh, it I is. My shades, dude. No, so take it all in. Take it all in. Wait, did I say sunset earlier or sunrise? Well, hopefully I said sunset. The last sunset before the big day. How do we feel? Good. I feel like it's giving me energy. Look at the sky behind the sun, too. I know. I love how many people are out watching the sunset. It's a wholesome. <gasps> I bet that airplane is like all the passengers. You the sun. Yeah, you're above it. Unreal, babe. Oh, you're watching. <laughs> I had to get your reaction. Does this remind you of any place? Hawaii. Remember like when we got that uh, squid luau place? Oh, that's true. Oh, it, yeah, it does remind me of that place in Big Island. Kind of reminds me too of the little streets in Park City, was it? Oh, sort of. Kind of. And we went to that sushi spot. Like we got the wood siding. These buildings with the windows and the, <laughs> and the signs. This little upstairs patio is so cute. Please seat us up here. Carbs. Mmm. Mm. The salty butter. More carbs. <laughs> Is it not warm? <laughs> Look at this massive plate of spaghetti meatballs. It's steaming. These meatballs are huge. We did both get an order to ourselves. Cheers! Boink. Mmm. All the things are pretty much prepped. Here's my station. We got my bib, my fuel, my outfits, my shoes. Same for this guy. He's gonna be using the spy belt with the bottles. I'm gonna be using my Nathan backpack with the bladder. Also, gonna need this tomorrow morning. All right, I've done the iconic flat lay shot. My shoes, they're actually so dirty. I meant to clean them beforehand, but. That's all right, that's all right, we roll with it. Just another long run tomorrow, no biggie, no biggie. The camera, the vlog. <laughs> here we go, here we go, 4 a.m. wake up call, 738. 1738. Hey. Sit your pretty ass in the Oh, okay, he didn't like my saying and married to the money. I ain't never letting go. And I get out with my baby. 4 a.m. Did you set one too? Set my alarm on my whoop as well. Whoop, there it is. What's your optimal? Oh, if I want to peak, I'm good then. If I go to sleep like now, 8.15. No. Right? But then you're saying, saying optimal is if you go to sleep 8.15 to 8.15 a.m. Oh. They want you to sleep for 12 hours. Oh. Yeah. Based on the past few days, that's why. You will only reach 79% sleep need. That's not bad. All right, there we go. Whoop is all set up. So 4 a.m. I'll get a nice alarm via my iPhone as well as a little vibration on my wrist. <sighs> but yeah, signing off. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Runners are getting ready to lace up their shoes and hit the road in North County. The Carlsbad Marathon returns this weekend. There's a full marathon, half marathon, and a 5K. It kicks off on Sunday at the shops at Carlsbad. Several streets will be closed for the event. Right, we are pulling up to the parking. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
How are you feeling? Good. All right, somebody's excited. <laughs> no, I'm scared. But I'm, I'm good excited. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks... It's now 6 a.m. 15 minutes before we start. I've already peed twice here at the Porta Potties. <laughs> but I think I'm good. I think we're ready. I'm cold. We're cold, we're cold. Everything except my neck. It's cold. Some gloves would have been nice. It's all good. It's all good. Are your legs cold? Everything's cold. Alrighty. We're gonna walk to the start line now. A dedicated lane. There are four spots where the full marathon differs. Not me already crying. <laughs> oh, we haven't even started. Oh my god. <laughs> Be proud of yourself. You did the hardest part, and that is make it to the start line. It's 26.2 miles. That's your celebration for the month of training that you have put in. And we're off. Let's start. Woo! Here's a couple hours, right? A couple hours. Woo! They know my name. They will sleep another day away. Make sure they. up now slowly but surely we made it to the beach it took us about three miles to get here now we run six miles down turn around but yeah right now i'm just tackling a 10k i'm just trying to break up this run into sections to make it a little bit more digestible but yeah i don't know i hope that i didn't come out of the gate too strong right now i'm sandwiched in between the four hour and 410 pacer and that would be ideal i would love to cruise here the entire time but i'm I'm not sure how long this will be. It's like a 909 to 920 something pace, I think. I don't know. It's a lot faster than usual for me. Almost at seven miles and I just went flying down that hill. I feel like this route has so many ups and downs so I'm just gonna try to fly down those downhills. Obviously I'm gonna have to go slow on these uphills but hopefully I can make up for some last time. Ooh. Oh my god. The fact that people have already turned around that mile line is crazy. Oh my god. Ooh. Big whip turn around. Done. Holy shit, I'm on track for a sub two half marathon. Oh my god. This is actually 
crazy. The adrenaline is so high. The fact that I'm halfway and I feel good. Oh my god. Okay, I hope I didn't speak too soon, but oh my goodness. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just hit a sub two half marathon. I've never done that. Wow. I think I'm on track for a sub four marathon. I think the four hour pacer is behind me somewhere, but I'm too afraid to look back. <laughs> short loop ah, back at the beach 10 miles to go to run past our hotel four times during that route and now we can finally come back shower we're home we're home this road is giving us ptsd huh Ooh. Ah! can you believe that wow we got the medal back and my energy is okay, but my legs, they're not okay. Oh, oh my god. Freaking did it. Freaking did it. Sub four. Sub four marathon. I think my official time was like 257.20. 
I really went into training thinking sub four is ambitious. So I'm gonna go for 4.30. I'd be happy with 4.15, 4.10, but it's really so true when people say that you run a lot faster on race day. The adrenaline is everything. That shit will carry you, carry you through. Oh, really? Oh my God. And we got late checkout from our hotel. So it's, I think it's about noon right now. So we have another two hours to just shower, chill. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Oh, that just, everything worked out so perfectly. I need time to process this, sorry. Oh, all right y'all, after about an hour of laying around just chilling in bed which oh my god felt so amazing um it's time to go it's time to pack up we are indeed flying back home tonight which i think it's still a good idea because yes we're hurting right now but i think we'll be even more hurting tomorrow and i think it'll just be nice to be home in our own bed yeah yeah it's not that much time that we have to kill because after this we're gonna get food and then we do have to get to the airport by around 6-ish to return the car, and then our flight's at 8. Alright, come on. Come on, baby. Yo! Success. Post-marathon meal, baby. Let's go. Ready to eat. me to just sit here recap on the race obviously got a little hectic with having to run the actual thing and then afterwards pack up and fly home and all that i didn't get a chance to properly end the vlog or really even just talk about how the race went so now that i have this dang metal in my hand i do want to sit and recap it all also yes i chopped off so much hair literally the morning after the race we got home at probably 11 p.m and then the next morning at 9 a.m i an appointment to get this all chopped off which i've been waiting to do it was also my birthday that following week so just so many so many things to celebrate and be so thankful for got to accomplish 26 miles before my 26th birthday which feels amazing and i'll remember that forever but yes i don't even know where do i start honestly the race went as good as it could have possibly went like it exceeded my expectations it feels like everything just fell into place the preparation in the morning this might be tmi but getting my bathroom breaks out of the way i probably went pee four times before 6 15 a.m despite it being very early when we woke up and also started the race i had so much good energy i felt well fed and well hydrated that was one thing i was a little bit scared of because i didn't really practice the whole waking up early and having to get started on a run very early but i think the race day jitters helped me get through that as we were lining up we started noticing all the pacers around us so they all hold signs that say four hours or 410 basically the time that it would take to finish the marathon and then also the pace that you would have to sustain to achieve that time so for the majority of training both of us thought that 4 30 would be a good goal time for us and it wasn't until we got closer and closer to the day that we started thinking okay maybe we could do 4 15 maybe sub four hour but sub four hour like at the start line, I was still leaning more towards 4.10 and 4.15. So we stood by the general area of those pacers. Once the ready, set, go hit and we all took off, I, I don't know. I just started flying. I just took off, followed after what everyone else around me was doing. I definitely checked my watch a few times and was like, holy crap, I'm way faster than any pace that I've ever done during training. So that scared me. I wasn't sure if that was smart because three to four miles in, I really didn't believe that I could sustain this pace for much longer, but at the same time, I was feeling good. So I kind of just let my body take over. I had on my music and I was just enjoying and taking it all in. Really do think that the course as well as the weather
weather that day, like that was all on our side as well. Perfect weather for running. It honestly felt like just being back here in San Francisco, which is quite comforting. As you're running up and down the ocean, there are quite a few hefty hills, but I feel like I'm used to those sort of gradual inclines because I did a lot of that in my training. It was so surreal being out there and seeing all these runners alongside me. The racing energy is no freaking joke. I got really freaking emotional during a lot of my run. The beginning, more towards the end, the very end, the after. <laughs> there was a big chunk of time where I was well in front of the four hour pacer. And there was times where I was running right alongside them with that little pack and barely ever did I fall too far behind. Like there was two guys pacing a four hour marathon. And so I kept them in my sight, in my general vicinity for the whole run. I looked down at my watch, I hit 10 miles and I'm feeling so good, so fresh. It feels like I hadn't even ran anything just now. Half marathon comes around and I looked down at my watch again, hitting a half marathon PR on the day of my actual marathon. That was huge, a huge, huge moment and just such a boost in confidence. I just kept thinking to myself like, holy shit, I could actually maybe do this. You are well on your way to getting a four hour or sub four hour marathon. Yeah, at that point I was like, okay, I need to lock in. I'm just gonna go for it. On my longer runs of training, I usually hit a wall around mile 18. Yeah, 18. Once I got to around 17, 18 miles during my marathon, I was like, what wall like i feel i feel good like i'm gonna be able to finish this so strong and then boom the wall the wall hit it crept up on me 18 to 22 that was all a mental game for sure i had the tiniest little hot spot on my foot like on the inner ball of my foot but nothing major it was during that time where i could not get myself to vlog i just felt my breathing was getting a little bit Mm, the fatigue was slowly coming on. Once I got closer to 22 slash 23, that's when I was like, okay, we got to finish strong, snap out of it. That was also the last sort of turnaround. So from here, it was just a straight shot to the finish line. I was like right behind the four hour pacer, running right alongside him. And then out of nowhere, I just started picking up my cadence. I started moving my feet quicker. Just let my body take me. I knew that if I just took off here and I kept that lead in front of the pacer, I would be in good shape. So I did that and there were some down hills and for anyone who's ever ran a marathon or a half marathon or just any sort of race you know that that last stretch before the finish line feels like the longest mile or half mile or whatever like it feels like forever oh <sighs> once i turned that final corner and i made sight with the finish line oh my god all the emotions are flooding inside of me seeing the finish line in a distance snapped me back into reality it literally felt like everything before that moment I was like in a trance. I was in another world. I started hyperventilating. <laughs> like I couldn't breathe properly because I was half crying slash laughing, not laughing, but like just overcome with so much joy. If I could relive that moment, oh my gosh, I would a thousand times. Once it was a straightaway to the finish line, I literally sprinted. I finished strong and that is exactly how I wanted to end my marathon. Seeing the clock say three hours something, as I was sprinting through the finish line, that's when it hit me that all the training that I had done paid off and it worked. It literally worked. Crossed the line, got my medal, was trying to like hold in the tears while also look for my boyfriend because I knew that he had already finished. As soon as I spotted him in the crowd and we made eye contact, I just, I burst into tears because it just hit me that we both accomplished our goal, surpassed all the expectations that we had for ourselves. I was just so proud of us. I did not stop running once during that marathon. Did not have to use the bathroom, thank goodness. And I only grabbed a Gatorade from one of the aid stations once because I had my backpack with my water. But yeah, I did not stop moving at all. My legs were going that entire time. And when they finally stopped, holy crap, that's when the pain started to sink in. But I got so lucky that that pain was not present at all during my run. My inner quad started cramping a bit. My hips were really not in good shape. And yeah, Crystal and I, we had to hobble to the car but we gave it our all. But yeah, that's basically how it went. I found myself getting a little choked up during the race when I just looked around and saw how many other runners there were and how many spectators there were, which is crazy because this marathon or this event was so much smaller than any of those bigger marathons like in New York City, Chicago. Any marathon in a major city is gonna have crowds that are like a hundred times bigger. This one in Carlsbad at times felt a little bit overwhelming. So I'm actually really grateful that we did this marathon and I'm glad that this was my first one because everything felt a little bit smaller scale. Even going to the expo the day before, like it wasn't some massive expo in a convention center. It was just in a hotel ballroom or whatever. I can't even imagine what 
a big city marathon would be like, but I would love to experience it one day. But yeah, overall, I am so proud of how everything went. This is the challenge that I've been craving for myself and it just, oh gosh. And to do it alongside my partner, it was such a great experience for the both of us and for us as a couple. Completing my marathon was a feeling that I wish everyone could experience. And for a lot of you guys who have been watching my training vlogs and who are now watching this marathon video, you might be training for a race too. And I just, yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy that I got to share my experience with this all. And I hope this can inspire you guys to get out there or just to keep working hard in your training. That is officially a wrap on this marathon training season. I vlogged the week after, which you guys can see in a future video, but the post-race day blues are, they're very real. I'll tell you that. But yes, I've got this bad boy right here and that was seriously one way to kick off 2024. Thank you so much for all the congrats, the kudos, the happy birthday wishes to follow, to know that there's so many of you guys cheering me on from afar. It really means the world to me and I can't thank you enough. If you guys enjoyed this video and all of marathon training, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have a playlist of all my training videos, so go check that out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.